Welcome to Learning with Philemon. In this video, we will be looking at how to calculate the percentage purity of a sample. In the previous video, we discussed that the percentage yield of a reaction is usually not 100%. The actual yield is less than the theoretical yield. For more on calculating percentage yield, please watch the previous video. One of the reasons for a lower yield could be that a reactant contains impurities. The impurities in the sample do not react to form the desired product, so you cannot make the maximum amount of desired product. Note that the impurity may react to form another product or not react at all. To calculate the percentage purity of a sample, we can use the following equation. Percentage purity is equal to the mass of the pure substance divided by the total mass of the sample multiplied by 100%. Now let's see how this equation can be applied in a stoichiometry question. A typical question on percentage purity would look like this. 58.0 grams of iron II carbonate FeCO3 are roasted with excess oxygen to form 30.0 grams of iron III oxide Fe2O3. What is the percentage purity of the iron II carbonate sample. We already know the total mass of the sample, but we need to calculate the mass of the pure substance. In these type of questions, we need to work backwards from products to reactants. We know that 30.0 grams of Fe2O3 are formed, so we can determine how many grams of FeCO3 would be required to form this amount of product. As always in stoichiometry questions, we start by calculating the number of moles by dividing the mass by the molar mass. 0 0.1875 moles of iron III oxide are formed. Fe2O3 has a coefficient of 2, and FeCO3 has a coefficient of 4. Therefore, there is a 1 to 2 molar ratio. 2 moles of FeCO3 are required to form 1 mole of Fe2O3. Therefore, we multiply the moles of Fe2O3 by 2. 0 0.375 moles of FeCO3 are required. To calculate the mass, we multiply moles by the molar mass of FeCO3. 43.5 grams of iron II carbonate are required to form 30.0 grams of iron III oxide. This means that the extra grams in the sample are impurities that have not reacted to form the desired product. Substituting these two values into this equation, we get a percentage purity of 75%. 75% of the sample actually consists of iron II carbonate and can react to form the desired product. Note that this method works only if we assume that the percentage yield is 100% when considering the 43.5 grams reacting. This means that no product is lost upon recovery. Now let's see another type of question you might encounter. In this reaction, 62.0 grams of the silver or argentite, AG2S, is smelted to form silver, AG. If the ore sample is 75% pure, how much silver will be formed? As the sample is only 75% pure, only 75% of the sample will react to form silver. Therefore, we multiply 62.0 grams by 75%, which is equivalent to 75 over 100, or 0 0.75. 46.5 grams of the sample is argentite. We can calculate the number of moles by dividing the mass by the molar mass. There are 0 0.1875 moles of argentite. There is a 1 to 2 molar ratio between argentite and silver. Therefore, we multiply the moles of argentite by 2. 0 0.375 moles of silver will be formed if the percentage yield of this reaction is assumed to be 100%. To calculate the mass, we multiply moles by the molar mass of silver. 40.5 grams of silver are formed from this impure sample of argentite. Note that if the sample were pure, more grams of silver would be formed. Thank you for listening. To consolidate your learning, 
try to answer the questions in the description. If you haven't already, please subscribe for more content. Stay curious.